Easter 2011. I brought my video camera for a culinary mystery. All of the Latinos I had asked over the years had never heard of our family's strange taco recipe. I wanted to record the recipe and how my family learned it. Gin will make you sin. Yeah. Gin was your grandpa's evil, too. Uh, he was a gin man. Well, I inherited the gin gene. I like gin, too, but I have to really be careful. Oh, it's so sneaky. <laughs> Three hours later, you're falling on your ass. <laughs> no, because I had a ride. <laughs> Someone got me back to the car. Where's your queso, whatever? It's in the refrigerator in one of the blue round Tupperware things. Or, uh, you kind of want this off center so that it's easier to flip that side hold over. It so you get a little more even. Now okay. it went down. And keeping your pan the right, that's hard. That's why the cast iron is yeah. good. Action, yes. <laughs> yes. Corn tortillas. Yay. Meat. Seasonings in the meat. Seasonings in the meat. Beef and. La Praferita tamales, squished together. Which are and beef and pork with the tamale. Now you're using manteca, or you're using lard? Or are you using Crisco? Crisco. 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 If you got, you know, lard from the Mercado, that would be great. But. Oh, they got manteca in my neighborhood. Yep, they do. You let your lard and your pan get hot, not too hot. Because you want to get the meat warm, but you want to get the crispy taco. The yes, crispy taco. and they come out perfectly crispy. Now the meat's uh, not cooked, right? Yes, it is. Oh, it's pre-cooked. Pre -cooked. Okay, okay, and then how are you pre-cooking it? To explain the mashing you, thing to her. You you buy your tamales. We use the La Preferita now in a, in a can. Because oh, we used to use derby to tamales in the, in the jar, but oh. they are no longer existed. They don't. They do not exist anymore. Mm -hmm. So you take them out of the jar, and they have their own sauce, and you mash them up. I just use a fork. Mash them up in your frying pan. Add your ground beef. Mix it up, and uh, brown it. And it's done. I add salt, pepper. Don't tell your grandmother, but I put some cumin in. <laughs> Any jalapenos? No. <laughs> Not for grandma. Not for grandma, no. You have to add your own hot sauce, which is oh, the choice geez. of the hot sauce is Louisiana hot sauce. Yeah, yeah because that's what you could Louisiana. get back, back in the day. then. Yeah. And it's and a very it vinegary is. hot sauce. Actually, I, someone told us you should start them flat. I did. I did. Yeah. I did. And you start them yeah. flat and, and then, then you roll them. Yeah. yeah, I forgot about that. That was my technique. Yep, we all, I do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then you get them started and they go in the pan. Yeah, because um, the way we used to do them was on one side, one side, and they always split. So if you lay them flat and get them warm, yeah. you can fold then, it over easier. Yeah, roll it and then roll it. And sometimes if you really want an opening and you're, you don't have to do so many, you can put it this way and then you have opening for you, all your toppings. Yeah, we liked us. Yeah, have them split on us. <laughs> That's what the spoon is for. <laughs> to mop up all the leftovers on your plate. <laughs> Method to the madness. There it is. <laughs> so let's see if I can. And then you keep them warm in the oven and they're ready to serve. Okay, and how hot is the oven? The oven is just at like 170 warming because they're already going to be cooked. We want to keep them semi-crisp and warm. So that so we, we can sit and eat all at once. Normally when there's not so many people, we cook and serve. Like people are sitting down eating while just we're still like cooking. Just like you're at the restaurant. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah. the, the, sh the short order chef. Yeah. <laughs> I like that everywhere. Everyone's starting to look young. Then you add whatever garnishments you want. Our favorite one is radishes, green pepper, onion, and lettuce. Small dice. Tomato mm -hmm. and guacamole option. And, and cheese. Crema. And cheese. And mm -hmm. we now have uh, the, uh, what is the queso fresco crumbling yeah. cheese? Yeah. The traditional is lettuce, onion, and uh, Green pepper and radish was the traditional recipe. I gotta let this pan. Slow down. 
Okay. Uh, we have the strangest taco recipe I've ever seen in my life. I've oh, asked really? a lot of people about it. Where did the taco recipe come from? Not Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> when did it start? Did Grandpa bring this home? It oh, came, it came no. From Theodore's this mother. started uh, Theodore's when I mother. lived in the apartment building and Marge broke up. Yes. Marge broke Teddy's up. Teddy's mom lived on, on the other side of the apartment building like this, you know, she lived in the area half of the, of the building. Mm -hmm. she, she lived in South Chicago for a long time around the Mexican. Yeah, even though she was Eastern European. Yes, yeah, she mm -hmm. was uh, Polish. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's how I learned the taco, the her taco. There's different recipes. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But this is the one she always made and I cooked. Now, and let's think about what year. Because my sister Dorothy was visiting when she invited her and me over to, she made tacos for us. Wow. And this is years ago. Were you, you know, married? Like what? No, yeah, because yeah, I was there. Pardon? I was wasn't there? at that one, but I I remember them and their son Teddy who used to eat yeah. butter. Yeah. He ate the stick of butter. He, <laughs> he, uh, that was his thing. I mean, she was married to Ted the broke up the uh, uh, policeman, the yeah. detective. Yeah. So how old do you think I was at that time? Oh, Kathy did one. Well, we moved in the apartment when you no, were yeah. two. But I was old. It was older than that. But I think maybe you were in Pennsylvania visiting Grandma. Yeah, but I was trying to think of if we could tell how old I am and we would know what year. Yeah, what year? I'm thinking I was maybe like 9, 10, maybe. Because Teddy was younger. Teddy, Teddy was young, yeah. Like he was seven, maybe six, seven years old. Yeah. So what year does that give us? I don't know. I was born in 1943, right? So it's a strange taco recipe from the 50s. Exactly. You think about that. There was no mercados to go to get you know, product then. That was yeah. pretty amazing. No super mercado. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I want mine in a certain order. <laughs> Yeah. Then get up and walk around the table. <laughs> oh, that's how we should do it. <laughs> I don't want my green pepper on the bottom. Oops. Onions. 